Hey, 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 my doll fashionies from across the globe. It's your girl, Nira J, the chocolate doll lover. Let's have a conversation about dolls. Pumping out these gorgeous dolls. Keep pumping out these beautiful black girl dolls. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> oh my gosh, before we even get into this beautiful doll that we have here, thank you to all of my brand new subscribers. Thank you for thumbing up the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your support to all of my new subscribers. Thank you. All of you who have watched the videos, thank you. I really appreciate it. Before we move forward, let's go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on this video so that I can continue to produce great content. Because for each of the two videos, for someone who hasn't posted in more than three and a half, almost four years, each video was halfway, over halfway to a thousand views. So let's keep it coming. That lets me know that each time you hit that thumbs up, someone else gets to, it goes into the rotation and someone else gets the opportunity to also join in on this conversation about these beautiful dolls. Now that I said that, I know you see her, y'all. <laughs> I know you see her. And she is absolutely gorgeous. So welcome, Melanie Lux, to the Chocolate Doll of her family. Uh, I am just continually very floored at this moment with Rainbow High and their decision to be diverse, diversely correct with all of the different shades of their chocolate dolls, or their brown girl dolls, black girl dolls. Um, they're they're doing well. Vanessa was our first girl with braids. Um, now we have Melanie, who has curly hair, um, which I think is absolutely pretty. Uh, we need to work on some afros and bring us some more braid styles. I'm not going to complain, but I'm just putting it out there in the verse. But one of the things that I truly absolutely love about Rainbow High and these dolls is that they're customizable. And I've heard throughout the doll verse somewhere that uh, they're supposed to be releasing later this year some customizable dolls. So we'll see how that actually looks. We're going to see, you know, if they're going to release some brown um actually shades of brown in those kits as well so that we can customize some some of the dolls as well so we'll see but anyway let's talk about melanie lux so first and foremost well we current we see that she is is the gold shade right i absolutely love gold i love silver and rose gold i wear all three of these jewelry i call them the jewelry palettes because i literally mix my metals and because i think it's fantastic i'm i am an av i love rose rose gold but i have not welcomed sabrina to the family just yet but i have silver which um we have our silver here girl aisha sterling and now we have our gold tone our gold girlfriend here a sister friend miss melanie lux who is absolutely fabulous now as you see i'm playing around with these um accessories let's get into it really quickly because i actually have a surprise at the end of this video uh on some, something i'd love to share but i also will hope to inspire uh some of you to move forward as well so you guys already know i share you know i am a retired music teacher music art teacher i actually still very artistic i i'm I always do art um i am a sketch artist and a novice doll customizer when i say novice like uh i'm, I'm working <laughs> i'm continually working to build and be better but i'm a sketch artist so being able to have the opportunity to transfer my thoughts that are on paper onto these dolls has been a spectacular of uh, opportunity when i get it right you know <laughs> but anyway um so again back to melanie melanie is absolutely gorgeous when i think of melanie the first person that I saw when I saw this gorgeous doll in the box was Megan Thee Stallion at the Oscars in that gold dress. And um, I'm not sure if it was last year or because they were quarantined still strong. It wasn't it wasn't this year or maybe it was the Grammys. One of them. One of them. Um, she 
she had on a gold dress. Um, if you just look it up, Megan Thee Stallion gold dress, everything about her, Breeze Meg, except for the hair. Um, I think they was blending the um, savage idea of a Beyonce, but chocolate, you know? <laughs> but I don't know. But Melanie is Melanie to me, and she's absolutely gorgeous. From the curly hair that they're getting better with um, to providing more textured styles um, to her shoes, uh, to the cloth nails, to this gold gown, which is absolutely, um, you know, high quality performance. I would say stage ready. Um, this is something I definitely would have wore or I have worn similar styles when I was singing. Um, I was a jazz soul singer, more so thoroughly, truly jazz singer. Um, and when I performed, I dolled up like this, like back or, or like this is kind of like 50s style her dress um the the palette of actually the the tones and the dresses are come like a cross between the 1920s all the way to the 60s i would say um even looking at sabrina's dress that i've seen her in the box up close um yeah i would definitely say that it's a, a span across those times um we have her Versace inspired vanity with all of the fixings like the others. Let me turn this the right way and get in that screen here. Hopefully it'll, it'll yeah, yeah, know how it work. So if you can see, you know, that's kind of like those gold tones. There we go, briefly. Anyway, I'm not gonna spend all time adjusting with that. So it has like a gold shade palette with a little bit of uh, some blushing and things in there. So we have um, this as well, the blow dryer. Melanie's is gold, black, and cream colored with the RH uh, Lux print on it. The Versace inspired vanity as we see here. Um, and let's get into her outfit. She comes, everything is the same with the girls with the exception of their outfits. So she's adorned in this beautiful sequined ball gown. Um, look at her eyes and look at her, one of these, her eyebrows are different. They're different from the others. She has gold eyeshadow, like a sparkly shadow. Um, only thing that I'm not feeling are these, these lips. Like we got to do better, but you know, I'm about to show y'all something shortly. Um, that'll make you think <laughs> about how in the future some of these styles could look. Now, her shoes, I love. Come on, camera. Let me take you off the stand. Her shoes are beautiful. Oh, my. And Y'all know I'm not going to spend too long on on uh, trying to show these details if the camera don't pick it up. <laughs> but anyway, her dress is sequins. It's like a mermaid style. Um, yeah. And let me give her her, ju her justice, her due. If you follow me on my Instagram, you, you have already seen Melanie. You've already seen her work up as far as her uh, debut. Uh, once uh, each, each of my girls recently have been getting their own insta real feet their instagram real feature and melanie has hers um so if you would like to see more active um content you definitely follow me at chocolate doll lover on instagram all right i'm gonna push melanie back oh so as i was putting melanie up i realized uh, one thing about that she has a bunion. Y'all see that, y'all? Oh, my gosh. So, I'm probably going to have to sand that. That's ugly. But that's one of the reasons why I don't order these dolls off of um, the internet. Of course, this was hidden by her shoe. Who's really looking at that? But um, <laughs> as I put her back on her stand, hopefully she'll su successfully stand up. There we go. And get into her outfit. Um, also, with mine as well, which I didn't see, um, her hair, um, their hairline, she, they didn't root her all the way past the, the margin line for hair. And she is, you know, her rooting is like whatever, but um, she has a middle part. And...
Yeah. Anyway. The doll is gorgeous. The face mold is beautiful. Um, her jewelry is really pretty. She has the uh, claw nails. Claw nails. She has really large hoop earrings. I have some ideas for um, this jewelry on some of the other girls because I swapped jewelry, baby. Um, she also has that molded on ring like Aisha does as well. Um, the details of her one strap dress, the back um, spaghetti strap strap with the adorn with the uh, so like an RH link. Yeah, it's R and H, which is linking uh, the straps to the the top of the the bodice of the dress. Um, yeah, I love her brown eyes. It looks like she has the same color eyes as Vanessa. As Vanessa and as Aisha, they're using the same brown eyes. Everybody's eyes are brown. All right, let's get into this second outfit. Um, on this video, I don't change my dolls out their outfit. I don't have time for that. You just, I, and and I, in, in no way, it's just more so featuring the dolls versus the outfits because there's so many endless options. Now, this is definitely um, like more 50s. 50s, 60s inspired Hollywood glam. Um, the dresses started getting, going back to being a little bit shorter. Those after party dresses, almost kind of 70s -ish as well. More like really kind of 70s, like across the across the decades there with this dress. Um, currently we are in Texas. Uh, superstar status, that is definitely penthouse. Okay. Rolls Royce status. Uh, <laughs> when you can sit and get, get out. I mean, it's beautiful. It has a um, also a leopard kind of print on there as well. So let's keep talking. One of the things that I'm noticing about the production of the dolls is that just like with anything, I'm not sure. I'm they're pretty sure they're hand rooting these dolls. Um, you definitely have to watch out for the quality and then don't be afraid if you want to customize your dolls to customize your dolls because they really are really beautiful dolls. Um, this particular video is really short because, you know, the Rainbow Divas, they, their only thing is different from them are, are the dolls and their outfits. But as far as the whole design of the Rainbow Vision and the Rainbow Divas, um, it is, they're, they're you know, they're, they're musicians, they're singers, you know. Um, and one of the things that I realized is that from the arts perspective, there are, um, <clears throat> most of the musical dolls are brown girl dolls. Delilah's a singer songwriter, but she has albinism and I don't know why I put her on the table. I forgot about her along with, with, um, <laughs> um, then we have Daria here in the back, the, um, Daria is a is she's from my hometown of Miami. Um I really wish they would have given Daria brown eyes. Oh my gosh. Um uh, <clears throat> Coco is a inspiring to be well, they feature Coco honey on the show and she got her a, a nice little spotlight as um the manager trying to manage glitch. Did y'all see that? Glitch, Glitch is really so pivotal in the show and can really sing up behind all. Um, then Robin is an actress. Aisha, again, a, a vocalist, singer. Melanie, a vocalist, singer. Um, same thing, vocalist, singer. <laughs> same thing. Um, Vanessa, drummer. And then we have the um, the other version of the arts, the fine arts as well, was a journalism major, which is Crystal Bailey. Um and so the representation is amazing. We have Georgia also who is in theater arts as well as like Robin is. Um, and I think that's pretty much, pretty much it's Carmenita. Well, my Carmen. Carmen um, is is a guitarist and she's a, a music major as well. It was too much to get Carmen off that shelf. So that's why she's not up here. Um, yeah, I'm Chanel Onyx is a beautiful doll. I, she just stays there. I just I'm taking her accessories and stuff. Um, and she's a couture designer and I, but she stays on the shelf. She's not, I didn't get her to really, I, I didn't want her, I just wanted her a part of the collection. I really initially wasn't that fond of the shadow high dolls. And then we, there's also, um, 
what's that little baby name up there with the ponytails from Shadow High as well? I don't remember her name. Mm, my bad, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, what are your thoughts on Melanie? What are your thoughts on Melanie? You're giving Megan the stallion vibes with this beautiful, gorgeous face. Because I promise that's who I saw when I saw her. Um, yes, just just beautiful. And I am going to customize her. Because there's some things that I, I want to change. Um, will I buy a second one yet? Not quite yet. Uh, I still haven't purchased another Robin. Um because Robin is still $50. Like, there's, like, have been no budge. And that's one thing I've noticed with Walmart. The Slumber Party line has not gone on sale at all. I was able to get a second Vanessa Tempo at uh, Target because Target had his major doll sale um, in May. And I cleaned up. I got all the series, four, all, all but one of the series four and uh, another Vanessa because I just needed another Vanessa. I love Vanessa's accessories. Okay. And I wanted to customize Vanessa, which moves me into the surprise that I have for you. So I'm going to slide these girls to the left um, over here to, I guess, my right, <laughs> to my right. And I am going to pull Daria to the front. Let's go, girl. Oop. Let's go. Sorry, guys, with the um, hitting of the camera and all of that. Some of this stuff, I'm going to be honest, is not... I, I really value the authenticity Um so when I knock dolls down and stuff, I'm not going to stop the video and all of that. Like, unless I really make a mess, to fit them, just put them back up where they were and keep it going. So I'm pulling those to the side and I'm pulling these two dolls to the front. Okay. Um, and I know you see there's a doll peeking in the back. So I love these two dolls. Daria was, is, was one of my favorites because her storyline speaks to me because I was a little young Miami girl at one, one time point, writing music, writing um, plays, sketching, and all of this stuff into the music industry very early on at, at a really young age, trained, classically trained. I, I sing in like 11 different languages, so on and so forth. And I've traveled the country singing. I have participated in international um, festivals. Um, Got a lot of awards under my belt, and I'm not. I'm, I'm sharing this because just, I hope that some of the little girls that, or young girls that, are young women that are um, collecting and the collecting the brown girl dolls are can can see and hear that it's more than just a fetish. I don't have. It's not a fetish over dolls. It's a representation for me. The story behind it, you know, um, as a writer as well, it's important for me to depict the realistic portraits realistic art and these are realistic arts and the story behind the dolls makes it even more more exciting when you're sharing them or when people visit and they see your dolls you know um but one of the, the things is that my vision when i see rainbow high from an adult doll collector's perspective i love the customization abilities now eye swapping is hard Okay, you, you have to have the face text, you know, uh, the head soft enough to where you can pop the eyes off and then soft enough for the, them to be pushed back in. And it is a task. But one of the things that I was like, well, you know what? <laughs> what would I want to look like as a dog, right? You know, or who have I seen that, um, how, how could we really be featured? And if we were more natural tones and not on the rainbow, what would these could these rainbow high dolls or another line of dolls really look like right so i have um i went and i i, I bought i have a couple of do well i had a couple of duplicates a couple of them i've given away to my sister who's aspiring to cre create um uh doll clothes who's aspiring to create doll clothes and she um, I gave her some of my dolls. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you, and yes, I'm using the video about Melanie because it's important because I want the representation to be featured. Now, this is Vanessa Tempo, right? And I've created a new character. This is Shalice Steele. I'm so, Shalice Strong, excuse me. 
<laughs> Shalice uh, is a character in one of my novel series that I'm writing. And um, this is how I, she looked. Vanessa's sculpt inspired me to create um, a definition of more chocolate. Like, you know, this is customization and this is what Rainbow High is given. Both are, are on point. But when I think of me as a doll collector and, and envisioning what if I was an actual doll artist coming, sitting, as a, starting from the sketch on up, uh, this is who I would want to see on the shelves. And to me, this would be really worth the price i'm novice now okay mind you i'm still trying to figure out the right mediums to use um when doing these doll makeovers but the the it, even with the makeup we can sh can start using some purples and some um different blushes you know to um blush their faces and it still be tasteful so she went from this, both of this is actually the same exact doll mold, the eyes and everything. I didn't swap the eyes out or anything. Um, and I just redid her eyebrows to make them more realistic. Let's see if we can come closer. Um, I had taken off and I redrew some baby hair. So you see that the mold of the baby hair is there. I didn't even think to sand them off. It wasn't that big of a deal because this doll was for me. Um, but Shalice Strong um, was something that I, I envisioned like truly um, what Vanessa could look like as a grown-up, right? <laughs> Share your thoughts. And then so we have Daria, which is my other favorite. Now, this particular Daria, I'm getting ready to show you, this doll has been through the works. And so you still see, like, I'm trying to, like, envision what Daria could, would look like as an adult in the music industry, um, we'll say way back in like the 80s, early 90s with this textured hair. And what I've done is I've just created a wig. Um, it's not the best one, but a wig <laughs> using some textured um, hair because I have kinky straight-ish hair. My hair is, my hair is kind of like this um, with a little bit more curl. And I, I wanted that to be a true depiction. Now, what I did is that I shaded them. Um, I've also found that the more that you play around with the colors and understanding the color palette and how it looks good on chocolate skin, you will be able to take and bring a little bit more dimension and depth to these dolls. And that's what I've done. I was actually inspired by some artists on Instagram that I follow who created some of some, some, the most beautiful rainbow highs and Bratz recreations. His, his work is impeccable. Um, I gave her a tattoo. I have a leg tattoo. And I just shaded looks, you know, realistic. Like, so I would eventually work on the toes and all those types of things. I didn't do anything really to her. And now I've had, this was my first, uh, I bought three Darius. Three, yes. Um, one, I had to throw in the garbage because something happened and was damaged. And that was like last year. But this one, I have... This this particular doll, whose name is now Casey Steele, has been all she's been through it, and we finally were able to get to where you know we're at a a, a new way. So let me t so so I just, I'm asking, what's your thoughts on more realistic looking dolls? You know, um, or even Rainbow High releasing these molds where you can actually customize them, and and I, I wonder what that's actually gonna look like because this was actually. Um, a challenge trying to figure out um in our reality the mr super clear that everybody raves about did not do well on the doll faces once i went to repop the eyes in after working up the face y'all I, I almost cried because i couldn't believe all my work was damaged um mr super clear on these dolls when you put heat to them of any kind it's it it's nasty it didn't work well um, and, and it muted the face out too much. So learning the type of medium sprays that you can use. I use some uh, Super UB Clear Paint um, Primer, Clear Paint Primer, uh, that's, that's good for plastic, painting over plastic because they are plastic dolls. They're, they're plastic. And every part of the plastic is different. Now, I did spray the Mr. Super Clear on the body, but the face is not the same material as the body. And so knowing how to how to do all of those things. Um, and then they're joining. So I'm actually, my next customs to come up. Uh, so this is, again, Casey Steele, uh, who used to be Daria, okay? <laughs> it's 
Daria grown up in the in the, uh, late eighties, early nineties. Um, Vanessa Tempo, who was now Shalise Strong, um, and then the next on the on the will be Robin. I'm looking to figure out how to swap Robin and Crystal's eyes out with some dolls. That means I have to go buy some more dolls who have brown eyes. That are um, yeah, which is which is really interesting. Um, yeah, but anyway. Um, thank you again for all your love and support. I really appreciate you, um, even caring about what I have to say about my vision for these dolls. Um, doll bars, let's, let's keep the conversation going. Um, yeah, let's talk about it. We got this beautiful Melanie Lux. Next time you see Melanie, Melanie's going to be different, honey. I'm telling you. So will, um, I pretty much like Aisha the way she is because everything about her is subtle. Um, her blushing actually works, so I like what they did with her. She's definitely going to figure out a new hairdo. Um, Coco, I'm going to buy another Coco, and then I'm going to fully customize that Coco and actually do blue shadows, like a blue paint shadows to be not as harsh with the printed screened on shadows. And the same with um, Crystal. As soon as I can find some brown eyes, um, then we're going to... She, she's she's my mini me is going to definitely get her makeover as well but thank you thank you thank you don't forget to like subscribe head on over to chocolate doll lover on instagram and follow us and see what we have going over there thank you you are amazing heart you <laughs> and i'll see you in the next video take care my friends